Hi guys and uh, welcome to my um, second uh, beginner Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to uh, just start showing you how to um, reference other cells within your spreadsheet um, and start writing your first formulas. Um, so to start off with, um, what I'm going to do is literally just put uh, a number in the first cell and a number in the second cell. Um, and we're going to we're going to put put an, a name against these. So, what this one can be uh, age, um, and mm, this one can be uh, number of people. Right. So over here, um, we're going to want to do something with these two numbers. So let's say we want. Uh, total age. So in order to make a formula in the cell uh, you can't just write um, 2 times 5 because that will come through as 2 times 5. That's what that's what the formula is going to do. So what we actually want to do is write equals 2 times 5. Then this rather than showing equals 2 times 5, it works out 2 times 5 uh, and puts it as 10. If you click on the cell, you'll notice that up here, this is the formula, formula bar, um, you've still got your formula in here and if you click on the cell, click in here, you're then able to still change the formula. So we can put 2 times 5 plus 3 and that gives us 13 and it does all the maths for you. Um, now, we th this is an incredibly useful um, because you can just bring up a calculator and do that anyway. Um, but what makes Excel um, useful in the, is that it's very easy to reference other cells within your spreadsheet. So how do you reference uh, a separate cell? Well, this is where the numbers uh, and the letters come in to play. Um, and you've got this cell here. So this is A2. Um, and it came up there, but it's, uh, it's, it's gone away. If you click on it, it it will come back again and say it's A2 um, or you can just look along it say this one's B2, this one's C2, A3, B3, uh, G9 um, and handily it highlights which ones are in for you. Um, so if instead of writing 2 here we write um, A2 and you'll see it highlights the uh, the cell that you're pointing at, uh, and if we change this 5 for um, B2, then it's going to highlight that. It'll do it in a different colour, which is also useful, um, and it'll match them up. And then we'll keep the plus 3 on the end. Why not? Um, and then press enter, and then we'll have 13, which is the same as, say, 5 times 2. You notice with times that you have to use the uh, star rather than. Um, rather than anything else and that's just part of uh, part of your keyboard setup and then the plus three is just going to always be the same regardless um, as with normal maths uh, you can insert brackets so if we put a bracket here um, and then put another bracket here then this is saying that it's whatever's in A2 so five uh, times whatever's in B2 plus three so that's going to be 2 plus 3, so 5. It's going to be 5 times 5, and it should come up with 25. Press Enter to come out of the cell, um, and there we go, 25. Uh, and you can use um, minus, so we stick a minus on the end, minus 6, so that should make 19. Uh, if we do minus 6 divided by, and let's use B2 again, uh, and that gives us 22. Um, so it's done 25 minus 6 divided by 2, which is 3, so 22. Um, and that's your basics of uh, referencing other cells um, and, and just starting your first formula. Uh, thanks for listening to this tutorial. I hope you catch up in the next tutorial. Um, and like I said before, th th these ones are going to go rather fast. So if you find that I'm coming in at a level that is way below what you're at already then just skim through the titles of the videos and just jump to uh, wherever it kind of fits you 
where you are at the moment best.